name is Erica Lloyd and I'm a student on the Auraria campus. Getting to know the ins and outs of campus is challenging enough, but have you ever thought about what to do in the case of an emergency? I'm here today to tell you how you can protect yourself and your belongings during your time on the Auraria campus. The Auraria Campus Police Department is a dedicated, full-service department operating 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our police department is committed to the safety of the Auraria Campus community. Cell phones are the most accessible form of communication. When using your cell phone to report an emergency on campus, call the Auraria Campus Police Department directly at 303-556-5000. Dialing 911 from a cell phone will go to the Denver Police Department, which will cause a delay in response time. For faculty and staff, dialing 911 from a campus phone will connect you directly with the Auraria Campus Police Department. Take a moment to program your cell phone with the Police Department's phone number, 303-556-5000. Add them to your favorites on your phone or place a space before the text so it moves the entry to the top of your address book. The Auraria Campus Police Department offers a text-to-tip line that allows you to report suspicious activity quickly and discreetly. You may also include photos with any text you send. Save the number in your phone now so it's at your fingertips in the event you need to use it. 720-593-TIPS or 720-593-8477. You can also contact the police department by picking up any of the emergency telephones located both outside and inside buildings all over campus. The interior phones are installed in hallways and are marked by a red sign near the ceiling. The exterior phones are tall red towers with a blue light on top. Using any of the emergency campus phones will immediately dial the Auraria Campus Police Department and dispatch an agent, even if you are unable to speak. Communication plays a critical role in keeping our community safe. During an emergency, or to notify students, faculty, and staff of campus closures, the Auraria campus utilizes a text, email, and voice messaging system called RAVE to deliver important information to the community. Students, faculty, and staff are automatically enrolled in the emergency notification system. For instructions on how to update or change your contact information in the system, visit www.ahec.edu forward slash ENS. Being on the Auraria campus means that you have countless opportunities to explore the downtown area. But being on an urban campus also means that it is important to keep safety in mind at all times. Let's review some important safety tips to follow when you are on campus. First, let's talk about personal safety on the Auraria campus. Add the Auraria Campus Police Department's phone number, 303-556-5000, to your cell phone for emergency calls. 911 calls from a cell phone go to Denver Police Department, which will cause a delay in response time. Also, add their text-to-tip line, 720-593-8477, to your contacts. Trust your instincts. If you suspect something is wrong, you are probably right. Report it. Be aware and prepared. Pay attention to your surroundings and make note of any suspicious activity. Use the buddy system. Always walk with a friend at night. Take advantage of the night rider service for a safe escort to your vehicle after dusk. Call 303-556-2001 to arrange a ride. Locate emergency phones that are in parking lots, building hallways, and pedestrian walkways outside. The emergency phones will connect you with the campus police department immediately. Avoid solicitor scams by politely saying no and notify the Auraria Campus Police Department. While working late at night or when leaving for the day, always lock your office. The Auraria Campus is located in the heart of Denver and taking public transportation and riding a bike are a great way to get around. Here are some tips to keep you and your belongings safe. RTD is a convenient and sustainable way to get to and from campus, but keep in mind the following safety tips when using public transportation. Don't use your commute time to sleep. Stay awake and aware of your surroundings. There's safety in numbers. Try to commute with a friend when possible. Sit near the driver or conductor. Keep your personal belongings close to you. 
Avoid getting off at isolated bus or rail stops. Don't tell strangers where you are getting off. Keep your money, electronics, and jewelry out of sight. Next, let's discuss bike safety on campus. Always lock your bike with a U-lock. Cable locks are easily defeated. Keep track of your bike's serial number. Always use a bike rack for parking, locking your frame and wheel to the rack. Register your bike with Araria Campus Police Department. Always follow marked bike paths and please respect the dismount zones for the safety of pedestrians. Don't become a victim of a crime of opportunity. Take care of your personal property when you're on campus. Park in visible, well-lit, and well-traveled locations. Always lock your vehicle and your office. Secure your personal belongings in a locked cabinet or drawer if you can't lock it in your office. Do not leave computers, backpacks, cell phones, or other belongings unattended. If you get up to use the restroom or get something to eat, ask a friend to sit with your belongings or take them with you. Never leave valuables inside your vehicle. The Office of Emergency Preparedness and the Area Campus Police Department have provided some tools to help you respond during an emergency situation. In every classroom and office suite, an emergency evacuation plan is posted by the exit. Each plan gives multiple exit routes for the building in the event of an evacuation. The plan also shows all building fire extinguishers, fire alarm pole stations, emergency telephones, first aid kits, and eye wash stations. In the event an evacuation is necessary, please follow these steps. Evacuate using the nearest exit. Take your keys and wallet. Don't worry about anything else. Your safety is the number one priority. Do not use the elevator. Secure any hazardous materials before leaving. Follow directions given by emergency personnel. If it is safe for you to assist persons with disabilities, do so. If not, notify emergency responders of the location and number of persons with disabilities who need help. Gather 500 feet from the building unless instructed otherwise by emergency personnel. Wait to be contacted and do not return to the building. Also located by each exit is this colorful emergency procedure fact sheet. It highlights various emergency scenarios with information on how to best respond. Let's go over the scenarios briefly. In the event of an active shooter on campus, it is critical that you run, hide, and fight. Evacuate the area immediately if you are able to do so safely. If you can't leave, hide out. Close and lock the door, turn off the lights, and stay low, quiet, and out of sight. Call 911, and if you can't speak, leave the line open to allow dispatchers to listen, or use the text-to-tip line 720-593-8477. As a last resort, and if your life is at risk, take down the shooter with any means possible. Attempt to incapacitate the shooter by utilizing anything within your reach such as a chair, fire extinguisher, or heavy backpack. In the event of a bomb threat, if you are notified by the emergency notification system that there is a bomb threat, evacuate the building as calmly as possible. Do not use cell phones or radios within 300 feet of the suspected area. Check for, but do not disturb any unusual objects while leaving a classroom or office. Report the unusual objects to emergency personnel. Do not re-enter the building until authorized. In the event of a fire, if there is a fire, activate the nearest fire alarm pole station and evacuate the building. Call 911 from a campus phone or 303-556-5000 from any other phone. Alert others to evacuate. Do not re-enter the building until authorized. Colorado's weather is known for being both beautiful and temperamental. Here are some tips to help you stay safe during a weather-related emergency. In the event of severe weather, if there's a severe weather alert and if any underground or designated shelter isn't available, move to an indoor room or hallway on the lowest floor and get beside, not underneath, a sturdy piece of furniture. Stay away from windows and do not open them. Remain in the safe area until all danger has passed. In the event of a snow closure, if the campus closes due to snow or other factors, you can find information by checking local radio and TV stations, visiting the AHEC website at www.ahec.edu, 
and by calling the 24-hour information line at 303-556-2401. You will also get an email and or text message by our emergency notification system. Auraria campus has a diverse student population, but since we're also an open campus, it's crucial to be vigilant and aware of your surroundings at all times. If you see or hear something suspicious, it's better to err on the side of caution and contact the Auraria campus police department. In the event you see someone doing something suspicious, call 911 from a campus phone or 303-556-5000 from any other phone or text a tip to 720-593-8477. You may include photos with your text message. Provide as much information as possible about the person and their direction of travel. Do not confront the individual or block them from leaving an area. In the event you see a suspicious object, for instance, a backpack or package left unattended in the middle of a busy area, do not touch or disturb it. Notify a faculty or staff member immediately and move away from the object. Call 911 from a campus phone, 303-556-5000 from all other phones, or text a tip to 720-593-8477. Be prepared to evacuate. Thank you for your attention and support of emergency preparedness. Together, we can make the Auraria campus a safer place. For more information, visit our website at www.ahec.edu forward slash emergency.